Nah, I fucked with that. Yeah. Look at how he talks to these niggas. Yeah, yo. Yo, turn that shit up. Turn that shit the fuck up. Turn right now. Talking that shit. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, yo. Yo. When you up and you winning, shit is awesome. Never felt real pain till a nigga lost one. If somebody take from you, what it's gonna cost them? Tired of niggas acting like they really put in work. Hit the boss, come be yourself. It'll do you better in the long run and see yourself staring down a barrel of a long gun. Some rappers never had no street cred, so they bought some. From your logic and what you just said about clothing, how smart is it for Kanye to be selling $20 shoes? Uh, it, it, to me, it depends on how much he's paying to make them. But he might have a, it might be an advertisement for something else. You understand know what I mean? So, like, for me, you know, everybody that buys the shoe, I'm sure he's getting some data. So now he has a direct connection with everyone when he wants to sell his stuff. You know, I don't know, man. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I have, I'm in rooms with Kanye, and I don't agree with his business model. Mm. You know what I mean? But he has enough bread from other stuff to do that. You know what I mean? So if he didn't have bread from other things, then he couldn't do that. Right. You know what I mean? So the, the, what, what was magic about Kanye's situation was he did not have to pay for none of the shit he was doing. Adidas was paying for it. So all that marketing, like he told you, $121 million for him because he is the commercial, went to his lifestyle. You know how, much, how many millions that is a month? Just mm -hmm. to spend on fucking it up? That's what he did. So he was able Hold to. On, let's be clear. He got a hundred and twenty million dollars. Twenty million dollars marketing to budget on to spend on himself. Lifestyle. Yeah. How do you think everyone does that? What do you think? I mean, you know, I'm not talking a business, but like I suspect when I see like a puff or anyone that's doing that that has a liquor company or whatever, and they don't do commercials, then they're the commercial. So if I see a jet, if I see a, a party, if I see certain things, then I know, and I know if there's a business attached, I know who's paying for it. I, you know, I know where the hummus stunting comes from. So with, with Kanye, yeah. Like, if then, he, he, you ever seen a Kanye commercial? Other than the one on the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl. That's, that's the only one. But that's, that and was, he shot that with his phone. Yeah, now, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That I'm was, like, how much did he spend on the front? Wait, wait, let's do the math. Wait, wait, <laughs> listen, listen to me. So if a commercial spot costs $7 million and the commercial costs $7 million, that's $14 million right there. That's usually what the commercial costs. So he like, don't make a commercial. Just give me the money. And I'll wear the clothes, I'll make sure I'm in the newspaper, I'll be on that private jet, I'll have this spectacle, and that's the reason why the people buy it. So you gotta look at other companies. I, you know, again, I don't wanna call niggas out. Right. You know, labels. Not labels, just uh, people that have companies right. that have expensive things, but every time you see them in their expensive things, they're picking up a bottle of something. That's the commercial. So the two million dollars that yeah, I ain't gonna talk. But either way, you know what I'm saying? My point is because right. I don't want to kill niggas hustles, you know what I'm saying? Right. But you know, me as a businessman, I know these things. But Kanye's been very odd. He said it. He said they froze 120 million dollars of my marketing. I'm the marketing. The reason why they froze is because he didn't have the deal anymore. So they're like, why am I giving you 120 million dollars of market? So that's why they froze it. Right. Makes sense. So think about having 120 million dollars just to fuck up on yourself. What kind of spectacle are you creating? You see, yo, Jack, is, you know, they look good on me. Yeah. Can you give me a pound? <laughs> <laughs> I gave you that no, for free. You just, yeah, I know. Most people have to pay 300 for that. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, the lifestyle. Yeah. You know, we got to figure that out. I got to make sure you're fresh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. What, what, what's your relationship with Kanye now? I haven't spoke to him in a while, but he's my brother. Mm -hmm. That's all. A couple months, but every couple months we talk. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, Kanye takes up a lot of your life. You see, he's a lifestyle in itself. You work with Kanye, that, that, that's a commitment to being, not having a life other than his, he, he's 24-7. Yeah, I, I had Saha the Prince on the platform recently. and Like, he's 24-7. He, he pretty much said, like, when Kanye called... Yeah. You got to drop everything. Everything. And, you know, I can't, like, if he called me right now, unless he's dying, I can't drop everything. Unless I'm worried about his health, I can't tell. I'm just, I'm not doing that. Why don't, like, the, okay, you, you're still cool with Kanye. I'm pretty sure you got a, a, a shitload of, of friendships within 
the industry that flourished they, in the other businesses. Why them, don't y'all work together? They don't want to. They, they won't even post my shit on Instagram. I don't. I don't think anyone really wants to see me with some bread. I don't, like I'd be like, why Kevin Hart won't post it? Why Kanye won't post it? Why won't anybody post it? It's free. I don't know. Is why. it the relationships? Is it people picking sides? Because I've noticed if, that. Well, if it is, it is. But to me, that's corny. Like I don't do that. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm not thinking that way. So I'm like, I hope no one else is. But they are. There is no side to pick. I'm not on no side. I just chose to live my life. Mm -hmm. Like, I chose to live my life, not someone else's. Well, so I'm not going to be up under Kanye or Jay or another artist all day to make money off of. I want to be up under my family. Right. I want to be up under myself. I want to make the things happen that I want, my point of view, my way. Like, I couldn't give you that jacket, CEO, uh, uh, you know, with, with all the, uh, no one would, would, would make that. Right. So I, I, I got to make it, but I do make it. I, I'm a very creative person, so again, not only am I in business in all verticals, I'm actually a creator in all verticals. So I'm a direct the movie, star in the movie. I'm a score the movie. I'm a make an album. You know, I'm a do it the right way. I know how to, not to say sketch, but I know how to design, get tech packs, do patterns, source fabric. I know how to do all those things from a creator's perspective. Like for, for every artist that I put out, I got a record that I made. For everybody right. that I help with a clothing line, I got my own clothing line. You got a fashion show, I got a fashion show. You got a book, I got a book. You understand what I'm right. saying? That's why I would tend to like, you know, like a Kevin Hart. I, I think Kev just be mad because I'd be cutting him up. I just heat him up. Well, so I'm just funnier than him when, when we when we together. You know right. what I'm saying? That's, I, so that's, he'd be mad. I mean, com comedians get really mad when you, I'd be like, how you mad and you the most offensive well, nigga in the whole it, world? That's just the crazy thing about it, right? I mean, we looking at the looking at this Cat Williams situation with Shannon Sharp and all the things that Cat said about Kevin and him being an industry plan and all that. Being that you were the first person to put a camera in front of Kevin and give him a break with paper soldiers. Um, Kevin be on some sucker shit. Uh, one day Irv called me and was like, Irv Gotti? Yeah. And he was like, yo, uh, I was like, yo, tell, because he said he was with him or whatever. I said, tell him to post my shit for the movie. And he was like, man, Kevin ain't fucking with you, man. I said, why? And he was like, I guess you caught him in the Barney's with Uggs and teased him in front of his girl. I'm like, he's mad about that? He had Uggs one? Yeah, I can show it to you. You ain't see it? You wanna see? Yeah, I wanna see it. Yo, you got my phone? Where my phone? I was can, can we put this on screen? Can we, can I, we, I, I've can cut we project it? it? I can always we... cut it. I always Exhibit I, I, I cut to it. <laughs> now I'm gonna hit you up. Listen, you my ass nigga. Why you got it on those Uggs? I don't like it. I'm not gonna say anything. He's an all black ninja Ugg man right now. I don't know who he's turning into, but I'm heating him up right now, boy. You're missing a tooth. I'm doing a movie. He's looking like a feminine ninja right now. I can't talk to that. <laughs> yo, I'm like, yo, yo, this nigga got my eyes. I mean, yo, you got crunch right now? Yo, you, yo, Cam, if he ever bothers you again, look at these Uggs right now. Don't you ever, ever put pressure on anybody in my crew here. When you're wearing these Can Uggs, see you got on Uggs. Cam, you see him? You see him? Cam, you see him? You see him? Oh, Don't play with me. Oh Cam, like, like I dare you to ask Dad. And, and his breath stink bad right now. Ask his girl how bad his breath stink right now. This nigga eating mayonnaise gum. I don't know what's going on. Hey, we got crunch. What is he? This Yo, is I'm killing him. Bro. Okay, that's it. Hey, but what happened was he had caught Cameron and he teased Cameron like some shit. Like, so Cameron called me like, Yo, you. You know, I came around, I mean, you know, I ran into Kevin, you know, he was, he said some slick shit that was kind of funny. I'm like, what? Oh, so you like being the big brother, you're like, okay. Uh, just like I that. Him, so I said, uh, I said, he knows you with me. I got, <laughs> I, I said, I got him next time I see him. And yo, it just so happened, the next week, I hadn't seen Kevin in a while. Right. I'm walking through Barney's with my daughter. I got a dog I don't usually have out, Cookie. Mm -hmm. And he's in tight leotards with Uggs on. And I'm like, yo, you got on Uggs? And I'm like, yo, Cam, don't ever let this, like, I'm going to show it to you. You bring my phone, I'm going to show it to you. Did you record this? You recorded this? I, I posted it up. <laughs> but, you know, it's jokes and uh, shit. Yeah, right. Like, like, the last, like, I went to um, a Jay-Z concert mm -hmm. with my daughter. Recently? Not recently. Yeah. She was 15, so she's 20, about 10 years ago. Right. And, um, you know, everyone was shocked to see me, but again, you know, to me, like that, the relationship I had with him was like, I would be like, yo, if I needed some tickets or some shit, I said he always gave me carte blanche, a uh, gentleman. Right. So he uh, made sure I was there. I walked through the, you know, I'm there with my daughter and all that shit. 
And Emery passed off, passing me some of that drink they got, and that shit got me too drunk. Do say? I, I, yeah, do say. I think he spiked that shit. I got way too drunk. Right. This nigga Kev had me in a chicken wing and all that shit. You know, I got it all on tape. I'm like, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> like I know Kev. We like right. little, he's like my little brother. Right. You know what I mean? But um, I guess he was mad over it. The Uggs? But I do have the Uggs, and I think because his what girl color? was there. What color were they? I'm gonna. They, they were all black. With Did the, they have all with like the fuzzies? Were they matching? They both. I'm had gonna the Uggs show on? you. Nah, the girl. Oh, she the, didn't have the Uggs on. Uh, uh, I was like, why? And then it, like his breath was crazy. So I'm like, yo, your breath stink, <laughs> right? And, and I'm like, ask your girl, right? I'm like, ask your girl right now to smell your breath. Like, if you don't, I'm not even snapping. This shit is crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, don't ever let your breath smell like this ever in life. Not even when you wake up, it shouldn't smell like that. You know what I mean? Like, you don't right. even smoke. So, yeah, so I don't know, Kev, why you mad? Just post my shit up, you my nigga. What's yeah, up? That's you know what crazy. I mean? That's all. But yeah, I'm like, you know, the, uh, for some reason, everyone always finds some little bitch ass reason not to want to look out for things that don't cost a dollar. They just won't post my shit. So either way, Kanye will not post my shit. I don't know why. That's At my all. nigga. That's my brother. But he will never post my shit. Oh. You ever seen him post my shit? No. I've asked. Like, don't think the conversation. All right, boom. Tiffany Haddish was in my spot in, in Burbank, right? Mm -hmm. And we, we, you know, she's the coolest to me. She will help. She will post. I love Tiffany Haddish. I don't care what nobody said about right. Tiffany Haddish. Right. And, we done made music, wrote scripts, and she was in the spot, and I'm like, call Kev. So she, she FaceTimes Kev, and we talking, I'm like, yo, why you won't post my shit? And he's like, yo, I'm not gonna post you with basketball shorts doing rock and roll. So I'm like, nigga, you watching me and you won't post it? So when I walked away, <laughs> he thought I walked away, I see him going, get out of there, get out of there. So he's telling her, I'm like, yo, what type of time you want? I don't know if he was joking, but it was like, he, he telling them to get out of there. So yeah, that's my man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they have their little ways or whatever it is. I don't feel the way. I still love them all when I see them. But, you know, I don't know why but they don't the, But does it disappoint you? Of course to, it does. To see, like, yo, the well, opportunities that I gave this out. This is what I want. Anyone that interviews Kev, and he'll say it, Dane put me on, put me in my first movie. Why you won't post this shit? You got to ask those people. Do, do you believe that, that, that after that movie, that's what, like, no, Cat I mean, Williams calling him a plant. How realistic is that? I don't know. I mean, he would do things, like, for example... They had asked me to produce Soul Plane, and I, I got offended because I didn't like white people making money off making fun of us. So I was like, yo, you need to watch it. No, no offense, like Kev, I, I, I've seen plenty of stuff that, that I fuck with, but Soul Plane, I, 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 I could never feel comfortable sitting in a movie theater watching people laugh at us. Yeah. us. Like, so, yeah, and it's not I, us I, doing that, it. That so just never, he came through and was yeah. like, I'm doing Soul Plane. I'm like, you are? I just walked away from that movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would never do that. So, you know, like, you know, like I, I wouldn't braid a man's, another man's hair on a, a, a billboard. Like, I wouldn't do that. I don't care if it's Will Ferrell. I don't care who it is. Right. So, you know, because it'd just be joke. I wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? So he, he has done things that I know I didn't raise him to do, but he has a different kind of comedy. But, but okay, I'm not just, judging Just him. being fair, I'm I sure you think that Richard I, Pryor did that you wouldn't do. Correct. Yeah, he, but, you know, right. like, fuck Marlon Brando. Pause, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely. I'm not doing a lot of shit he would do. So, <laughs> that's what they said. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I definitely wouldn't do that. Now, is, is, it's in a book or something like that? I heard that shit. I was like, that's too much, man. Not, not my man Rich. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Like, I don't give a fuck. Shit. But my point is, yeah, I mean, it was a different time, All you right. know? But, you know, my point is, I'm not judging them. I'm just saying, just repost my shit. I was never mad at him for doing anything he's done. It's just not, not what I would do. But, and I'm not mad at him now, but I'd be like, I would be a nice if you, any one of y'all motherfuckers I put on would post my shit. Right. Yeah, that would be cool. Just post it. Don't have to do nothing. Right. Just a post. I, I honestly, I just don't think, I, I think that people do a lot of taking of my ideas and they know that if I have the money to make my ideas come true, then they won't be able to copy, go raise money. So you might remember, I was the first person that did vodka. I had creative control before any television network, you know. All, the, all those things, I was the first person to do. I just didn't have the funding to do it. Oh. I had the ideas, and I had to do them myself. Even down to me trying to make an iPod. I had the rock box. You know what I'm saying? I'm very innovative. I remember the rock box. Yeah, I, I just don't that. have the cash. I, I just don't raise the cash. Mm. I don't like to use the devil's money. Mm. If you, Why? Because you, then you work for the devil. All eyes on me. Do you, because I'm doing me. Still shine with no jewelry. I would rather have the unity. It's gonna be you if it's you and me. No tears in my mama's eyes. Got a team full of routed eyes. 
Hail Mary, nigga, rock a bar, rock a bar. All eyes on me. Made it out the hood, I'm so grateful. Never know what talent gon' take it. Jealous niggas never made a breakthrough. That's why they watch it so hateful. All eyes on me. They say the top is so lonely. 